Good morning, Bremen High School. I'm Bella Davis. And I'm Brandon Robinson. Today is Friday, September 29th, 2023. This month, we have the Battle of the Classes. Be sure to go support your class. Here is Dee Patterson with more information from Ms. Hightower. Hello, this is Dee Antoine Patterson, and I'm here with... Ms. Hightower. Hey, I have a few questions for you. All right. What, in, what inspired you to do Battle of the Classes? So, Student Council was really the, they're the ones that came up with Battle of the Classes. They wanted a way to challenge all of our students to have a lot of spirit and participation in all of the activities that we have here at Bremen High School. Which competition are you most excited for? I am personally excited about all of the Spirit Week. So Homecoming Spirit Week, Christmas Spirit Week, we're even dressing up for Thanksgiving and the 100th day of school. So all of the dress up, those are my favorite. Those are my jam. I have one more question with you. I just want to ask, can anyone join the class? Anyone can. So every student right now, you are actually participating. So you can win points for your class by doing the name that tune on Friday, being student of the month, or dressing up or being loud at the pep rally. Uh, we'll be giving away points for a variety of different things throughout the year. So get involved. Have fun. All right, that's it. All right, let's try this. Uh, up. As we start. Up. There we go. Yo. Boom. Show your Blue Devil pride by participating in these activities that we have. Every Friday, we have a theme dress up, and we also have finish the lyrics. From now until homecoming, we will have a canned food drive where you can bring non-perishable items to help out with the homeless and earn points for your class. Next up is our overview of this week's STEAM night that took place on Tuesday. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Let's go to Owen Thomas with more details. Hello, uh, I'm Owen Thomas, and who am I here with today? Emma Marshall. So, like, what do the students learn from STEAM night? So, basically, we had a bunch of different sections set up for STEAM night. First of them was the drones. We had someone teaching little kids how to use the software and how to use the drones. We did a lot of racing. We did backflips. We scared our teacher with the drones a couple times. It was, it was great. Second off, we had the track out in the hallway, as you see. We were racing F1 and rail cars. We went over the process of how we cut these out of the wood, how we used the CNC machine to do them, how we designed them in the 3D CAD software. We also had someone designing cards in the 3D CAD software for little kids to see so we could explain how, how we design everything in our class. And then we had the laser engraver running. I don't know if you can read this. It says, you are beautiful. We, had, we were teaching little kids. We were doing names, and we were also doing like drawings. We were handing them out to kids. We also had robotics set up. We were playing games with robots. We were fighting robots. We press the button and and once you're down there, oh, so you did a backflip. So, um, in your opinion, what is the best part of Steam Night? The of racing the drones. I love flipping the drones around. It's very fun to teach kids how to use the drones because usually someone ends up getting hit in the head. But then my second favorite part is going to be racing the F1 cars because they're really fast. I love seeing which designs go faster. I loved painting them, stuff like that. That's awesome sauce. Music is a big part of everyday life. It's how people express themselves. Here's Nolan Bell asking what songs people around the school listen to. We're asking people what they're listening to today. Our target is Jonah Hatchet. Let's go. Hey kids, just like you, but a lot smarter. Jay Hatch, good sir. What is it that you're listening to today? I'm listening to Baba Riley by the Hood. Oh. A classic. Yes. Bob O'Reilly. And our next target is Jake Steed. Let's go. Hello, Jake. How are you? I'm great. How are you, Nolan? I'm doing fantastic. And what are you listening to today, my friend? I'm listening to Heaven by the Los Lonely Boys. All right. We got Jordan. Jordan, what are you listening to today? I'm listening to Rhapsody in Blue by George Gershwin. Oh, classical. Yes, my man. Beautiful choice. Yes, we got Millie. Millie. Nolan. What are you listening to today? I'm listening to Cherry Wine by Hozier. Oh, yeah. You like Hozier? I do. We're here with Mr. Luke. What are you listening to today, Mr. Luke? A little Zach Bryan, I Remember When. All right. Nice. Appreciate it, man. Anytime. 
We're here with Miss Price. And Miss Price, what are you listening to today? Today I'm listening to, thanks to Claudia Rancheros, Lancheros' uh, presentation, Leve and the Iceland Symphony Orchestra, What Love Will Do to You, live at the symphony. That sounds amazing. All right, Dr. P. What you listening to today, Dr. P? All the Small Things by Blink-182. All right, thank you. Are you in need of a job? Here is Kirby Lee with some local options. To money, experience, or to be independent, most students want the opportunity to work. Tropical Joe's is a smoothie, coffee, and juice bar. They are a great local business with the best refreshments. They are now taking applications through their Facebook. The bar is located next to the Valero on the Atlantic Ave Avenue and also on the North Park Street in Carrollton. You can also put an application at Rightway on their Facebook page or send them an email. While finding a job is difficult, businesses including Tropical Joe's and Rightway Barbecue might be the perfect place for you. I'm Devin McGee. And I'm Lindsay Haley. And we're going to interview her about Tropical Joe's. So why did you start working at Tropical Joe's? Um, definitely the environment. So I would go up there pretty much every day. So I knew everyone up there. And it's just a fun. What are some of your favorite drinks at Tropical Joe's? Um, so my go-to from day one was I would get a poly, which has strawberry, watermelon, peaches, and sherbet. I don't like peaches, so I put kiwi in it instead, um, and yogurt. Um, and then a nutty chocolate delight, but I add almonds to it, so it's crunchy. Um, Coffee-wise, probably the Frappy Joe, because it's sweeter than the Mocha Joe, and I don't really like coffee that much, <laughs> so I like the Frappy Joe. Sounds good. Car shows and truck meets are a big deal in the South. Here's Isabella Davis with more information. Whether or not the event is popular or local, car shows are a staple entertainment. Car owners have the chance to showcase all of their hard work through their renovated vintage cars. There are many local car shows around Bremen, so if you're interested, keep on the lookout for the ones near you. How many car shows have you won? Or have, how many have you been to? We haven't won any car shows, but we've been to over 30 car shows. How long did it take to restore the truck? Uh, we are still in the process of restoring the truck, but we've had it for eight years now. What exactly are truck meets? Truck meets is when a bunch of people, men and women, get together with their trucks, meet up, they talk about their trucks, they do trades, different parts for their trucks, and they even sell their trucks at truck meets. And are truck meets similar to car shows? Yes, they are similar to car shows. Um, anybody can come to truck meets if they want to, whether they have a truck or not, and just walk around and look at all the nice trucks. All right, thank you. Soccer is one of Bremen's best sports, but there is a problem. There is a need for more players for the girls' soccer team. Here we join Vance Smith and Addie Marshall with more information. The Goa soccer team is in desperate need of new players. With Bam being such a small school, there is always a need for new players. Hello, I'm Addie Marshall, and who am I here with? Kaylin Braun. And how many years have you been playing soccer? Eleven years. Wow, that's a really long time. Um, what's your favorite part about soccer? I'd say the family and what we get to experience. And why do you think people should join this year? I think it's a great experience and you learn a lot through it. Hello, who am I here with? Coach Jason Fields. And why do you think people should join soccer? Um, we have a good atmosphere out there. It's like a family atmosphere. Uh, we've been one of the most successful programs at Bremen, 16 region championships. Uh, been to the playoffs uh, every year for the past 10 years or so. Um, so just come out and have some fun. And if somebody was interested, how could they join? Um, just come to room 48, and I'll give you some information. We start conditioning late October, and tryouts are in January. And how many people do you think you need? Uh, usually I like to have between 35 and 45 come out. Right now we got about 32 signed up for girls, about 33 signed up for boys. So, you know, come out if you're athletic and you want to play a sport and you want to uh, come out there and learn something new. Just come see me. 
In order to reach the levels of success we have had in the past considered talking to Coach Fields about how to join. Even with fall break next week, we still have extracurricular activities that you can attend to show your Blue Devil pride. Today we have a home football game against Ringgold at 7.30. Tomorrow our competition cheer will be competing at Central High School. On Tuesday, JV and Varsity Volleyball will have a ma match against Lafayette and Adairsville. It will take place in the Bremen Gym at 5 p.m. We will also have a home softball game against Gordon Lee at 5 p.m. On Thursday, Varsity Softball has a game at Ridgeland at 5.30 p.m. JV Football will have a home game against Rockmart at 7 p.m. On Friday, softball will be competing at the LaGrange Toyota Invitational. The band's senior lunch will be in the gym at noon. Varsity Football will be playing at Lafayette at 7.30 p.m. Well, that's all from us today. If you have any story ideas, please feel free to contact a member of the RECAP team or Ms. Hendricks. I'm Brandon Robinson. And I'm Bella Davis. We hope everyone, everyone has, has a, a fun and safe break. break.